G'day trendsetters, I'm John with Gravel Cyclist, coming to you today with another really cool bike. This is owned by a good mate of mine, his name's K-Dog, he's part of the Gravel Cyclist crew. He's 65 years of age nowadays, that's wild, huh? And he's won several marquee gravel events. I'm not gonna go into those details, but this bike next to me is the bike that he's used to win several of those events. I'm not saying you need a bike like this, but He's still got great legs. Great legs is what matters. But this bike is unique, so let's talk about the details. Stating the obvious, this is a reconstituted mountain bike frame. It started life as a SETA, S-E-T-T-A, however you pronounce it. It's pretty much an open mold mountain bike. And my mate K-Dog built this bike because he really wanted a bike where he could feel safer on a lot of the descents at events in states like North Carolina and West Virginia, where you've got a lot of really tricky, rocky descents. K-Dog's an amazing climber, but descending is not his forte. So this instilled a sense of confidence and safety. Also, I'll drag into the picture here, one second. For really gnarly events, K-Dog swaps out the front rigid fork, which is a 9 RDO carbon, for this suspension fork, a Fox 32. So plenty of travel, and therefore also plenty of safety for the descents. The drivetrain on this bike is an all Shimano 10-speed affair. At the front of the bike, K-Dog's got a set of Dura Ace 10-speed shifters that I believe his lovely wife handed down to him. She's a nice lady, isn't she? Mrs. K-Dog. <laughs> the crank set is Shimano XTR 10-speed and it's fitted with 40 big chainring and a 28 tooth small chainring. So really nice low gears. Now, right now the cassette is a cassette geared for North Florida. So it doesn't need obviously a big pie plate to climb mountains, but K-Dog has run, I believe, an 11 to 32. So when you've got a 28 small ring and a 32 big hole in the back, that's less than one to one. So plenty of gearing to get up some of the nasty climbs. Pedals, Shimano XT, hard to go wrong there. On the front is a 15 millimeter through axle. On the rear, this is a quick release bike, so a standard nine millimeter quick release by 135 millimeter. And the brakes, K-Dog's not using hydraulic brakes. You can get converter brakes and such, but this is a straight mechanical setup. So it's got the TRP Spire brakes, which have always worked historically very well, in my experience as well. Plenty of braking power, not up to hydraulic, but still good enough. Bottom bracket, English shred, What's not to love about that? Although it's 73 millimeter being a mountain bike frame and a XT front derailleur. And because this is a reconstituted mountain bike frame, he's had to shorten up his position quite a bit due to the lengthy top tube of mountain bikes. So he's got a 70 millimeter Sinte stem and sitting atop is the centerpiece of the Eldorado Cadillac Eldorado because this bike rides like an Eldorado, but it still is performance oriented. C-Post, Thompson Elite, What's not to love there? They're made in Macon, Georgia, and a Linsky saddle works great. And finally, the wheel set I mentioned before, American Classic Race 29er, and he's got it fitted with Panorama Gravel King SK in 700C by 38. This thing's got crazy clearance. You could fit two inch mountain bike tires and still have clearance. This bike is also proof that you don't need a special machine to conquer gravel roads. There's no rules in gravel, and I hope that never changes. In fact, I'll link in the description below. I had a certain discussion recently with the UCI. We want to keep those people out of gravel cycling, also USA cycling, because we want people to ride whatever the hell they want, like bikes like this. Anything goes. And the question you're all asking, how much does this bike weigh? As you see it in its current form, 19 pounds. That's pretty amazing. There's no tricks in this bike, no super lightweight parks. And when K-Dog runs the Fox fork that I showed you earlier, the weight bumps up to about 21 pounds. So still very light for what it is. So there you go. That's my mate K-Dog's bike, a drop bar mountain bike. But like I said, there's no rules in gravel. Anything goes. If you have a cool bike you think is worthy of being shared with the gravel cyclist audience, please drop us an email at the contact page, which I've linked in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they appear on the channel. I'll see you in the next video. I want you to ride a go.